Okay, so today is the launch of the new Veronis Hestia and along with that comes some further information and including some example pictures. So that got me excited about sharing this. So what? let's jump straight into it. Let's go and have a look at these pictures. If I scroll down on this presentation here, the first image we come across is taken with an iPhone 14 Pro. So obviously a very, very good smartphone cell phone. But this is the image taken just with the smartphone. And here is the image taken with the Hestia. As you can see, it's a half moon where you can see detail in the shadows of the craters and stuff, but plenty of craters to be seen. So for such a small device, I think that's pretty decent. So moving on, but we've also got examples of M13, the Hercules cluster. So let's have a closer look at that. So yeah, you can certainly see the cluster well. And uh, sunspots on the sun, look, you can see the quite a number of features on the sun. If you purchase the, the option with the solar filter, you can see the penumbra and umbra of the sunspots and some, I think that's called feculi. I'm not sure, I need to remind myself of that. Those kind of like lighter patches. So bit of granulation going on there as well that's actually a really decent image of the sun quite impressed with that that right hand side limb oh yeah look at that so yeah I mean you can't moan at that can you for sort of a device that small I think that's fair fair dinkum and at the end we've got a M57 ring nebula which isn't the best image of a ring nebula ever but this is a device that amplifies your smartphone so this gives us a bit more of an idea of how your phone would sit on the device. So what I believe is it's got two angled L brackets at the bottom which are magnetic. So you can manipulate those to fit any size of phone you like really with your lens of your smartphone over the, the rubber cup that's situated around about there at the top right. It's been heavily marketed towards the solar eclipse and to be honest without the solar eclipse the sun is incredibly active at the moment. I remember a few years back where I was doing white light solar viewing and imaging and it was just a blank disc but now you're treated with sunspots pretty much every time you look at the sun so I think it's worth going for if you're going to go for something like this it's worth going for the the solar option. I think there's free packages which I'll discuss in a moment, but we've got additional specs now. So I think I mentioned before it does 20, effectively gives 25 times magnification. The aperture of the optics is 30 mil, 1.2 inches. And I can hear people saying that that's tiny. Surely it's not going to show you a lot. The thing is when, when you're taking photos, you're you're taking capturing light over a long period of time so with astrophotography you don't really need a big aperture to take to capture images it's a bit of a misconception if you're just if you're using an eyepiece and a telescope ap aperture is king but aperture isn't king for astrophotography and here we have the packages so the basic package if i can get rid of that stuff at the bottom the solo pack just it gives you the Hestia and the dust cover as mentioned, and the early bird price um, on the Kickstarter is one four nine for the first five hundred units one four nine dollars, which is a saving of forty percent because after the Kickstarter this will retail for two four nine dollars, and uh, after the five hundred units are gone you can still get it for one eight nine on the Kickstarter which is a saving of twenty four percent. So the second package, this is the standard pack, and this um, adds a tripod. It's not too much more money. So the first thousand units, that's quite good. That's one eight nine dollars for the early bird, and after which, whilst the, whilst the stick, the Kickstarter is still going ahead for thirty days, you can still get it for two two nine, and the usual price is two eight nine dollars. And the final package is the Eclipse pack, which. I think that's the most exciting of the three because it's going to give it more versatility really, um, especially with how active the sun is at the moment and the upcoming eclipse. eclipse. So that is 2,000 units. So they're, they're obviously pushing this one the most because the 2,000 units 
gets the 34% discount, so 249, and the Kickstarter price after those 2,000 units is 299, but the usual price for that would be $379. Now, and that gives you, not only does that add the solar filter, but you also get the hard case as well. So Hestia solar filter, tripod and hard case for that. And that seems to be the most exciting one for me. I like the look of that one the best. So they were, Veronis were very kind and they've given me affiliate links to the Kickstarter. So if you want to join the Kickstarter and you decide to use my affiliate links, I do get a little bit of a kickback from that when it's all done and dusted, which gets pumped back into the channel with toys to show you guys. So if you do that, thanks very much. And um, while I'm, while I've got your attention, hopefully still got your attention, I do want to um, give a shout out to the Narraband channel. Now, I've seen this guy come up on my feed a few times and I've not really watched many of his videos because you know, I'm not really into Narraband stuff, but this, his latest, one of his latest videos caught my attention because it was astrophotography while battling cancer and it turns out he's got stage four cancer. He's a young guy, he's got a young family. And the thing that struck me was um, listening to his philosophy near the end of his video and his outlook and his reasoning. And I just really admired sort of how positive his outlook was considering what he's going through. A lot of people just completely crumble in that situation. And I don't, he must have had his blips obviously since finding out this this really bad news, but his, his outlook is incredible. So I wanted to give the guy a bit of exposure really, because I watched a couple of more of his videos and he's, he's actually into like micro four thirds stuff as well. And I really like micro four thirds stuff. I like Panasonic. He's into the Olympus side of micro four thirds cameras, but I've subbed to him and I'm gonna watch some more of his micro four thirds content. But I just wanted to give him a big up, the Narrowband channel. Uh, I think his name's Ben and um, yeah go and check him out and uh, yeah apart from that I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos and a big thank you to my channel members and my Patreon and uh, sorry I can't upload all the time I know some people upload videos weekly and I did manage that for a, a few years actually and it's getting a bit less than that now it's getting like once a fortnight sometimes occasionally once a, every three or four weeks and um yeah, the quality is variable as well. <laughs> it, it, it's really, it really is the fact that I've got a full-time job and kids and I've um, got quite into triathlon recently in the last two years as well. And I just finished uh, my first Olympic distance triathlon yesterday, uh, Sunday actually, and that took a lot of training. Uh, so I've been training really hard and, and there's it's only so many hours in the day. But thanks for sticking with me and I'll upload when I can. And uh, as always, take it easy. And I have got, I am working on another video, which I'm really keen to share with you. Hopefully I can get that uploaded soon. But because this Kickstarter starts today, I just had to get in there with this. And I know that this isn't for everyone. It's really gonna be aimed, the Hestia really is aimed for the beginner. Um, if you've got a really big telescope already and loads of imaging kit, it's just not for you. So bear that in mind when you're commenting, cause it's just obvious it's not for you if it's not for you if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, catch you later and hopefully see you on the video that I'll upload as soon as I can.